Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that guy in the back. Look at his hair. Looks like he... It looks like he, his hair looks like some eldritch root type of thing. If that ghost spirit thing wants to catch these hands, line up. Oh, oh, my. oh sh go, 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 go. Holy shit. Wow, we getting out of here. Oh. Let's see if it moves after this. Bang. Holy shit. I shall vanquish you. Let's go, Khan G. Uh, Did he bring like a llama with him? Me and Dojima, bro, drinking coffee. Yes! Welcome back, guys, to the Fox Regalia. We will be starting a new game. Well, it's not a new game, but it's a new game for the channel. Welcome you guys, we just finished Final Fantasy 9. I think I'm gonna lay off the JRPGs for a while for now. Uh, take a break and start something new, you know? So today we'll be playing some Danganronpa. English or Japanese? I think we could go with English. Why not? Logic difficulty, mean, action difficulty. Ah, let's put it on mean. Can I lower the difficulty when, we, when we're deep in the game? Probably not, huh? Oh, he's dead. How is that possible? He just went up in the rocket and went down. How did he just blow up inside? Okay. All right then. Jigger Happy Havoc. Um, I thought I watched the anime for this game, but I completely got it wrong. I thought I was watching Danganronpa, but it's a different, it's a different mystery anime. It was like this guy who's stuck in a cage or like a mansion with this other girl and they're killing each other in that mansion. Um, I remember there was like a paint mystery. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was Danganronpa. That was not Danganronpa. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. What's that on the back? Look on the back there, like on the right side. It looks kind of like a hospital. What is that? With, hundred, with hundreds of years of tradition, it sent the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to, uh, you need to know before attending school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. Oops. It was me. I know a little bit of what's taking place in the game because uh, I had to read it off Steam. Before so I go any farther. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Naegi. Uh, as you can see, 
I'm nothing but hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like if you ask me what my favorite song was, my favorite movie or TV show, it'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. Even among the average, I'm completely average. What the heck? So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. What? Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. I feel like the sound is kind of too loud. How can I change? Wow, I can't access settings? That's pretty savage. Okay. Um, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. He said you have to be good at one thing before getting into this school. What? How did he... Uh, okay. How did an average guy get in? I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Uh-huh. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me could survive in a place like this. You probably can't. It's got this overwhelming presence. Like it's trying to swallow me whole. Uh-huh. Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Wow. Look at this Windows XP. Um, Hope Speak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. Huh? Come on, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of... Uh, ultimate Baseball Pro is going to be there. Ultimate Pop Sensation. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. Oh, this is the pop, pop, yeah, pop star, pop sensation. Which one of them? The girl in the middle? I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Oh, there's a the baseball guy. Damn, it looks like a de <laughs> he looks like a demon. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Interesting. I thought in high school you can't do these things. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Who's this? What? They mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader. What? The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. What? Okay. Let's just not question. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, ultimate fanfic creator, ultimate gambler. Ultimate gambler? Why are you even in school? Ultimate swimming pro, ultimate programmer, ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. So he's probably the ultimate waste man, huh? I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. And all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other students, other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Hmm... I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. We just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Mr. Makoto Naig, 
We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Oh. Included is an orientation guide for Hope Speak Academy. How did I do that? What? Triangle? Oh, it is triangle. Wait, what? Oh! Oops. That was not what I meant to press. I think I skipped a couple of... Oh, it's... Okay, I get it. They spelled it out as plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. 2014, huh? Six years later, you know what I'm saying? But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So this game is a lot of reading. So hopefully my voice doesn't tire you out. <laughs> but then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever, frozen in place. Murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. Bro, I tried to control the volume, it's so loud. And I took my first step forward the main hall. Or toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? Now I guess I'm the first one here. Oh, this is giving me Persona 3 vibes. Remember when the school started? Um, and you have to, you're in that general area of the school. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Huh. School starts at 8? I was so wound up. I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. Um, it was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Mmm, fusion spell, polymerization. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then, the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Ultimate everything, right? Ultimate this, ultimate that. Ultimate despair. This is interesting. Why? Okay. Huh? <laughs> Makoto. Nagi boy. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. Dude, that's crazy. That's some corpse party desk arrangement right there. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep to here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Whoa. Whoa. That was pretty cool. That gave me some Paper Mario, like, PTSD. <laughs> Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Personally, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Ah, huh, okay. Aim. Huh? If you aim at an object, you can interact with. Okay. Oh, just like, um, 
It's like the, that detective game I was playing. Uh, Jake Hunter? Okay, left and right. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, that's slow. Bruh. Can I... Where's the settings? Oh! Oh. What's that? Screws on the windows. Looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted. Oh, they're, it's metal. Mm. No way out, huh? Why are there metal plates over the windows? Well... Back. Oh, okay, that's it. This is like, um... So games like Danganronpa, I'm guessing, is like... That Zero Escape game. That's the desk I fell asleep on. Asleep on. I slept. Wow, we, we, we learn new words every day. I can still see a line of drool. I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. An orientation guide. Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. Ah, uh, yep. I already read that up for you guys. Mm. Zero escape, huh? Literally zero escape. Look how flat these desks are. Okay. And... But the camera. Oh. I, I, he talks about the dangerous world we live in. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. What time is it? 6.22? Has it really been almost an hour since then? Oh. So he passed out in the main hall and then someone carried him here. Okay. If that's true, it must mean there's a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Hmm. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Oh, interesting. I just want to inspect a little bit more. TV. Uh-huh. Something peels off. Uh... Oh, wow. Jazzy hallways. This hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick. B to run. Why do you need to run? You gotta... There's chase... There's chase in this game, huh? Uh... Y to map... Like this? Oh, interesting. So there's the classroom that we just came through. Is this the same classroom or? 1B. Mmm, soundtracks are nice. Yeah, uh. So no settings, huh? I wanted to change the audio a bit. Okay. <laughs> Velvet room. What's that? In? The spare hotel. Why is it, why does the camera keep doing that? The spare hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But I need to get to the main hall. He like looks, he, he keeps doing this with his head. Like, stop it, man. Oh! His, the left stick and the right stick is to look, but if you push the left stick forward, it's like, okay, this is so weird. Uh, so weird. What is this? AV room. 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't just wander off. What's this? Oh, it's open. Oh, this is the main hall. Oh, shoot. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, Holy hey, crap. Another new kid? Holy crap. Holy crap. You're jacked. Dude, this team. Why did I just say this team? Too much Call of Duty in my head, man. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that guy in the back. Look at his hair. Looks like he... It looks like he, his hair looks like some Eldritch Root type of thing. And look at look at that girl on the left. Look at this drills. From from head to hips drill. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. Interesting. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there. Ah. This looks like a fun bunch, huh? Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. I know, right? Like, they're all ultimate, so... How's it going? My name is Makoto, Naegi, Nagi, Nagi boy. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Uh? You too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you supposed to be a bear? A dog? What, what is this? So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Music's so loud. Got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I have to come up with voices for all of these people, huh? I don't know, man. It's gonna be tough. This is gonna be. T I need to sign up for 13, 15 characters, man. Just a moment. There's something. Oh, my thimble voice is coming out. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report to you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Right. <laughs> There's so many people, man. Everybody just relax. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Ah, uh -huh. uh, the hell? This guy's definitely Thimble's voice. Now there's no freaking time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Well, maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. Okay, this is probably the most plain girl, so I'm just going to give her the most plain voice. That's a good point. Um... Oh, shoot. Second plain girl. Uh, okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance, as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Can we not talk about that door behind them? It's like some Death Star. Uh, I'll start by talking to those five over there. Uh, okay. What's that button up there? What's that button over there? I'm curious. Are these guns? Oh my god. Okay, let's start with this guy. Kiyotaka. Oh, Toko. Sayaka. Leon. Leon S. Kennedy. Yeah. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I that sounds like a samurai name. Let's work together on our educational crusade. 
All right, class press. I know you. Ultimate moral compass. Wait. He's not the baseball guy? I thought he was the baseball guy. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. Oh, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Public morals committee. Interesting. You know what I find funny is that like Asian games or Asian media, even Asian schools, e Asian reality. Okay. They have like these like public morals, morals committee for like more morals. Bro, <laughs> bro, you know how badly my high school needed a public moral committee? <laughs> you could call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Okay. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. Um... Oh, is it this guy, the baseball guy? Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Oh, we are a creepy girl. Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate creepy? Oh, ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10. I got everyone talking and launched her literary li lit literary career. Then two years ago, she released Soul Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. So the world is like controlled by these students. Do we have, do we have the ultimate genius in this, in this group? Because that would be intense. She's won countless li literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Uh-huh. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> it's the complete opposite, man. The most, like, crazy writers are probably, like, introverts. What's your problem? What? Oh my gosh, ultimate creepy. It's not polite to stare, you know? What the heck? <laughs> what the hell is this? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I, I just thought... Ha! I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd, you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, no, girl, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking anyway. at me. All right. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what, an, what a successful author would be like. Damn. Oh yeah, this was the plain girl. Saya? Sayaka? Oh, the pop girl. K-pop. J-pop. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. All right. Weirdo alert. <laughs> when I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. So wait, none of her group mates made it here? She's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. I feel like these, these characters, they say like ultimate pop star, well, whatever. I have a feeling they have powers. You know? I... I'm psychic. Oh well, thank you for telling me that you have powers. <laughs> huh? Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... 
By any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Uh, yeah, you're sorry. right. Sorry, Makoto. Huh? Yeah, it looks like she wanted to say something. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. Uh huh. Ah, Leon. This guy. What's wrong? What's wrong with your legs? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? This guy looks like a. The other guy looks like a Moogle. Something's wrong with that. <laughs> Something's wrong with that build. Ah, he's the baseball star. Leon. I recognize that name. Oh. He grew his hair. Ah. You? Seriously? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate ba baseball, baseball star and all... Hey, what? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look, Ben. <laughs> oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. It's not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Wait, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? you know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He was still this team's... He was still the, th the team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. That guy is crazy, wow. I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Uh-huh. Music. Uh-huh. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. That's all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're set. How cool is that? Hey, you want guitar? I play guitar. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball star. Here we go, Moogle. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. What is that antenna you got over there, man? What's going on? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. Uh, the event has passed into a legend. Mm, some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd be tainted. I'd tainted the event. <laughs> How stupid can you be? His hair looks like banana peel. Like, you know, it's like, what is that? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely, definitely pretty remarkable. However. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy Boy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about our embracing our basest urges. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now to talk talk to those five people over there. Holy shit, this guy. <laughs> All right, let's start from the less weird, and then we'll move down the uh, the range of weirdos. Hey, uh, I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. So Hina, all right. Hina, what's up, man? Oh, ultimate swimming pro. I. Aoi, uh, Hina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. Don't tell anybody, guys, but I can't swim for shit. If you throw me in water that's probably knee high, I'd drown. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. Yeah, I could tell. She's trying to not to look. And trying to respect her, right? <laughs> but the dialogue box keeps getting in the way, you know what I'm saying? What was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Neggy boy. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, 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 no. It's... Is you that. It. it is that. You sure you got it? Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi, Nagi boy. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds? Mm. N-A-G-G-Y. Nagi. Nagi boy. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> Just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Oh gosh. We have the ultimate Dumbo. Sure. Same here. Yo, this group is black. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Okay, who's this? Chihiro? Alright. So, I'm, I, I'm inspecting these people from head to toe. And like, okay, not too crazy. Not too crazy. Okay, so, like something's going on here. Something is definitely going on here. And what, what is this? What is this, dude? All right. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Fujisan, Fujisan. Ultimate programmer. Hell yeah. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. I hope we can get along. Wow. Wow. The first time... Wait, hold on. I'm not going to say anything. We might jinx it. I was going to say the first time shaking hands, that's not a weirdo, right? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Y you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Fujisan is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on. Oh god. Which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, oh gosh, what's going on here? Come on, man. Uh, Why are you crying? I'm sorry. Why are you crying? <laughs> What are you apologizing for now? Um, Just cause you seem as upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not a lot. Not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or Thank anything. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Well, as long as you stop, or don't even start being a weirdo, right? Oh, Kyoko Kiri. That's a lot of Ks. That's a lot of Ks. Kyoko? Um, can I ask your name? You gotta say your name first. Come on, bro. That's how you introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Pat. Nice to meet you. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. 
Onigiri? Ultimate... What? Whoa. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? But you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so like, what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to... <laughs> Bro, what does it mean? I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? What ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Ah, ultimate tundere. I, I, I get it, I get it. Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. I think about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me. But... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Ooh, ooh, I like the control. It's much smoother now. If I use the right stick, then the left stick. Okay. Hi. Junko? Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. <sighs> Another weirdo. Alright. Oh, yeah. She's the fashionista? Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. Huh. Interesting. I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and jump? <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Ah, crap. So they aren't real? What can we do? Come on. Don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. And if you were surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Ah, uh, here we go. Mondo. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Ah, biker gang leader. I, right. Mondo, I'm gonna shake hands with you. I just turn my back. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. Uh huh? So this is like a little introduction area, huh? Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hell yeah. But I better be. Oh, I better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Yep. Hey, gang leader, not ultimate mafia or yakuza. All right. So this guy looks like an eldritch root. Um, let's start with this guy, Byakuya Togami. Name is Byakuya Togami. Okay, that sounds like that sounds like a Naruto. That sounds like a Naruto special power move, man. Uh huh. What affluent? What? Prodigy? Why does it keep doing that? My button keeps double pressing. Huh. This guy's not weird, but more like an arrogant weirdo. Huh. Even among the students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. Okay, he's the heir. Parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Ah, uh -huh. so he's rich. Why is he here? He's Batman. He's already started managing business operations. And is yep, yep. Oh, progeny. Not prodigy. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Zara to me, his aura says to me, you and I will never understand, will never stand on the same level. 
like a king in training. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. She looks like a witch. Ooh, gambler. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. That's my name. What if you don't mind? I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Ooh, look at her hand. What is what is that thing on her finger? Like, that's a probe, isn't it? But as I mentioned, I would rather much, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Oh. Never lost a bet? Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes. Uh. Uh huh. Queen of liars. Ah, hell no. Nah. Ah, hell no. Nah. How do you sleep at night? You're gonna get stabbed in the back. She totally cleaned out the others, the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she didn't. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> um, not so likewise, but that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Okay, who do I speak to? Oh yeah, uh, nah, I'm gonna speak with the Eldritch boy right now. I... I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. I have to call you Eldritch. Ultimate Clairvoyant. What? What? Supernova in the psychic community. The transcending. Wow. I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. I'm not sure if this game has some supernatural things taking place in it. So, like, the clairvoyant, the psychic things. I don't know if that's true or not. I can't help wonder if there's any truth it to it. Be? Uh, okay, I give up. Hmm, what happened? Serious. I saw it. I uh, looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. So what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime. It gets real deep into Lemuria with, and its civilization. Huh? We're in high school. You know? Oh, I, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See? And well, it's a long story. I am Sakura Ogami. Ogami, you sound like a Tekken fighter. Oh my god. Ultimate martial artist. Oh, wait. I almost asked her if she was a guy. Alright. <laughs> the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a sh into human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. But how could they do him? Uh, do her? Not him. How could they do her like this? Why why they make her look so jagged? She's the ultimate, wow. 400 matches and never lost a single one? Did she fight bears when she was a toddler? What is this? Ogre. <laughs> Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primate, primates. The famed missing link. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. You. Yes. I snapped her attention without even realizing. And she started to poke and prod at my body. 
She gonna eat me alive. I see. Muscular quantity and quantity is right around that. An extremely ordinary high school student. Oh, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm probably gonna die from one punch. I'm not sure that's a shame for me. And with that, all the introductions are done. <clears throat> Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, uh, something. Hm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stun around, making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh yeah, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Uh, um. Makoto, you just said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? How did you guys all wake up? Oh, I guess I was the last to wake up. Ah, yeah. Blame my metabolism. Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. Not everyone, ever, every one of us would just get knocked out like that. Piece like sleeping, shit. sleeping gas. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking, freaking out. Hmm. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Uh huh. Yeah. If they want to keep, they want to keep the people inside. But who's keeping us inside? Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. Uh, and then there's main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? It doesn't. There wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What's it doing here? It. Hmm. Someone's basement? Is it like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off, and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on! Cheer up! I mean, it's all just part of the school's orientation procedure. I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Ah. All right. So they wanted to do something to surprise what us? The hell? <laughs> Look at Leon's face. This reminds me of Futurama. What? You know what I mean. Such a, such a throwback. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. Ah. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. And then it began. Bing dong, bing dong. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Doesn't that sound like the guy? Um, the Moogle? The Hifumi guy? Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Ah. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. What? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entry ceremony. <laughs> Thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? I'll, uh, I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, uh, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. I have to go and kill the mood. Uh, Wait for me, I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> oh, everybody's going. Everybody's anyway. peacing out. 
Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Uneasy feeling I'd had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. That girl, the white-haired girl doesn't get much screen time, huh? This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Uh, that announcement was, like, totally weird. However... Oh, there she is. Maybe... But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. I'm, I'm still kind of nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? We making saves everywhere. What is this? Am I supposed to speak to these people? Oh. I don't... I think everybody's just scared. Yeah. Well. Yeah, he fooled me. You... <laughs> what are you doing, man? Listen. What was that? A mailbox. Okay, um, we came from there. Where's the gym? Oh, right there. Is this a shop? Wait, what did he say? I better make my way to the gym. Oh, shoot. Fine, I'm coming to the gym. I'm coming to the gym. Oh, washroom. Bro, these controls, man. Why am I so slow? This type of gameplay reminds me of um, Paper Mario, Persona, hey, Persona 1. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. And it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Is that like seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing Richard, nothing gay. Shit. Uh, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey. Hey, where's whoever who called us here? Thinking? Mono stops, no running. Well, then. I too shall go. Yeah! Uh, wait, don't leave me here alone. The uh, the game design looks very unique. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Uh, no, I didn't mean, oh, display case. Ah. Um, is there anything else I need to, okay, so the, there, talk to the girl here. Um, hmm, where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Is there anything I can talk to? Oh, there's, there's that, there's this. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched. I don't like it. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Yeah. Are we going in? Mm -mm -mm. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. With like 15 chairs to sit because there's only 15 Yo. of us. See? Told ya. It's the only normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Look, look, Hifumi's not here. 
Bro, he fool me. Where's he fool me? Oh, there he is on the left side. That's the bear. Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Mm -hmm. Monokuma! I gotta copy this, this and voice now. I am this school's headmaster. What kind of music is School's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes. Bro, the music is so loud. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Bro. What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. It sounds like a circus nice music. You all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety would be carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? <laughs> what? The teddy bear can talk? Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on yeah. now. Yeah, I'm not a teddy bear. Say what? What? Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. Oh, how dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. Hey, my remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Don't make me say stuff that I'm that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. No one's gonna talk about her eye, like her iris. It's just like red. She. <laughs> Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns. Now then. Huh. Good morning. What the frick is Good happening? Morning. Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Uh huh. Represent the hope of the world. But I thought you just said like, uh huh. To protect such splendid hope, solely within the confines of this school. What? Everyone will live in harmony together. Oh shoot! I broke out of character. Huh? Now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What? What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. Um, like, <laughs> conveniences as in, like, <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. And just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? No matter how much you may... No matter how much you yell and scream for help, Help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. D damn you. Uh, yeah, get the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or this is a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of what you. What are you gonna do? 
I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you th you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Ha ha ha! Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Coming out? What's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the entry ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey, um... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. That's that master of great and special claws for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation claws. Now then. Let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. If someone were to disrupt that harmony. Huh? That, my students, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by the disrupt the harmony? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. That's what I was just thinking. Huh? If one person were to murder another. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it? It doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Just sh a chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck uh, out of a human catching salmon, right? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. Extreme! Ah. Uh -huh. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's, it's. To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what he means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Same. Bring on with all this nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering. Blabbering! Blabbering! What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! The soundtrack is fire! Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over! Listen. From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah, and you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh, all right. Uh, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? You know. You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick. I'm right, right? Uh. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, uh, you know, right? Like, uh... <laughs> Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Bro, Mondo, just... just... Just slap that bear. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? <laughs> joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Mondo roared out and there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as bullet. He locked on to his target. And then what? I knew it, bro! <laughs> gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! 
Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What, no smart ass come back this time? Piece of shit! Why is he beeping? Oh shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! That's a bomb, bro! Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... <laughs> this guy was a bomb, bro! Holy shit. The hell? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew up... It blew the hell up. There was a painful ring in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real... When it's in real life... I had never seen anything like it. You know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Ah, crap. Look at his belly button. Oh, there's another one. Damn you. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. He is. Well, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Uh, hey, hey. So does this mean like a bunch of you, a bunch more, a bunch more of you around somewhere? There's like a bunch of, bro. <laughs> does this mean there's like a bunch of, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's not even punishment. That's just long. Um. What the? What is this? Uh, official uh, studded handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. What? Guys, sorry, my button is just like double pressing for some reason. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name to so make sure you have the right one. Hmm. Uh, so it's like an iPad type of thing? What? It's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. Uh, school regulations, yeah. Hey guys. Any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Ching. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. Bye bye. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? I I don't understand any of this. We 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 have to live here forever or kill? Whoa, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. Take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we, re we each stay here, living a communal life together, until the day we die. And the other choice mm -hmm. is, if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's Bro, why? Kill somebody. Why? Why? <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is this is this is just what is this? Ridiculous. A lie. That is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard is all fake. <laughs> Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this?
I don't know if it's a joke or not, bro. But we have nothing to lose in believing. So let's just listen to the, the bear. Let's not kill each other. Ah. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? That is a good... And that was how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. 15 students? Wait, are you serious? People were supposed to die in that prologue? To be continued. Is this a is this like a decision heavy game? Like if I I can save people. Is that type is that is it this type of game where like if I don't take point A or like choice A and I choose choice B, people will survive? Okay, yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of that. Bear spoilers. You received the school crest present. That kind of sounded like Zelda. Because if I can, if I can make choices that are gonna save people, I'm, I, I should probably. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> Holy crap! An hour and a half. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the first episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. More Danganronpa, more Danganronpa to come. This is pretty interesting. I was expecting the game to play like um, Jake Hunter. Uh, it's like a detective game if you guys aren't, aren't too aware of what that game is. It's giving me real good mystery vibes right now. We'll see how the story progresses. I'll see you guys in the next episode. That's for sure. Try not to get yourselves killed out there. 